Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Austin and I am a beauty and fashion content creator based in New York City. Glossier just dropped a new product, so you know that means I'm here doing a review. I like to do these reviews whenever they drop new products, so be sure to subscribe and stick around if you enjoy Glossier reviews. Their new product is called Glossier Cleanser Concentrate. So in this video, I am going to give you the product claims and a bit of background on this. We're going to discuss the price point and how much product you get to see if it's worth your money. I will run you through the major ingredients in this product. I will test it out for you on camera, and I will be sharing my first impressions and initial review of this product. Let's get into it. So first up, what exactly is this product? It is a highly concentrated cleanser that exfoliates, clarifies, and re-energizes the skin in 60 seconds, according to the website. So really quickly, how is this different than their Milky Jelly cleanser? Milky Jelly was one of the first products Glossier ever released, so it's been about six years now that they've had that product out. Milky Jelly is pretty different from this one. Milky Jelly is a conditioning face wash, which as the name kind of suggests, means it soothes and nourishes your skin. This, on the other hand, is a clarifying face wash, and its intent is to soften and purify your skin. So two very different products for two very different use cases, which is nice that they've now introduced something new into their core collection. A quick note just on the packaging and branding of this product. First, the packaging, it comes in a cardboard box, as many Glossier products do, and then the product itself is what feels like a glass bottle with a pump on it. Pretty standard packaging for a cleanser, and the pump looks very similar to the Milky Jelly pump that they have. While the name is definitely an accurate description of what this product is, I just can't help but think of other Glossier products like Wowder and Lidstar and Cloud Paint and think like, is this, is this as creative as we could get? Then again, we are 15 months into a panini, so I give the copywriting team a break on this one. Now this product is priced at $20 and you get 3.3 fluid ounces of product. I took a screenshot from the Glossier Instagram stories the other day and it said at two pumps per use, we counted 365 cleanses per bottle. So this is very highly concentrated. Pumps are pretty small coming out of it and apparently you will get a lot of use out of this product. That's really helpful in determining, you know, if it's worth your money, but we're going to talk about the frequency and how often you should be using this product a little later on in the video. Okay, and now let's talk about some of the main ingredients in this product. So first up we have grape, which is an antioxidant heavy product and it helps prevent signs of aging in the skin. The pulp and juice of the grape have also been known to keep skin clean and exfoliate away dead skin cells. Next up, they use amino acid surficants. That's my new word of the day. A Surficant is a substance that tends to reduce the surface tension in a product once it is dissolved. Basically, this gives the product its kind of silky lather as it starts to bubble up. And so this is actually a plant-derived substitute for sulfates. And sulfates are also known for giving lather and a bit of bubble to products. But one thing to note is that they basically are detergents. So while they may create a more noticeable and possibly like fun bubble and lather, um, they can actually irritate your skin. So this is kind of an alternative for more sensitive skin types. And speaking of more sensitive skin types, this product uses an AHA blend of two different alpha hydroxy acids. Those two acids are malic and lactic acids, and both of these are more better for sensitive skin groups than glycolic acid. Something like glycolic acid can actually penetrate the skin a bit further, but by choosing the malic and lactic acids instead for this formula, it makes it easier for sensitive skin types who may have more sensitivity to exfoliation. It's still clarifying, but there's more of a chance that it'll work for your skin type and less of a chance that it will be irritating. It also contains some flower extracts, specifically from calendula and chamomile. And again, both of these are known to soothe and also prevent redness and are also known to be compatible with most skin types. So again, I really appreciate the thought here because a lot of people, especially someone like me with dry skin, kind of stray away from exfoliation products from time to time or maybe don't use them because they think it's going to irritate their skin. But determining the right frequency of these products and also finding products with thoughtful ingredients like these is a big reason of why you shouldn't be too afraid of them. 
The last ingredient I want to mention is passion fruit extract, which helps promote elasticity in skin. It also contains vitamins A and C, as well as some fatty acids. And if you want a full ingredient list, I have this product linked down below in the description box. You can head on over to Glossier's website and read the full product list for yourself. Even though for the most part, these ingredients were chosen with sensitive skin types in mind, um, I did say the word acid a lot. And so that might lead you to think like, well, how often should I be exfoliating with this product? There is a little warning on this product on Glossier's website that mentions since it contains AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, that it will increase your skin's sensitivity to the sun. Now, typically the level of exfoliation for these different AHAs depends on both the type of AHAs used as well as the percentage at which they are used. So we know the types and we know that these were chosen again with sensitive skin in mind, but we don't know the exact concentration or percentage and I couldn't find it anywhere on Glossier's website. Just as an example, I know Paula's Choice has a BHA exfoliator that I have used in the past that I know has the percentage in the name. So you know exactly at what concentration those acids are. Since I don't see an amount on Glossier's website, it is just something to keep in mind. Maybe they will release that information at a later date so we can understand exactly what the percentage is. But that being said, in terms of frequency, their website suggests starting with once a day and working your way up to twice a day if you have a skin type that can tolerate it. It says that if you have dry skin, which I know I do, that using acids at this frequency could dry out your skin. And so they recommended using this product a couple of times a week, but really using milky jelly as kind of your main everyday cleanser. Now I'm going to roll a cutaway of me actually trying out the product for you. Okay, so I'm going to be trying the cleanser out. Before I do, I'm going to take my makeup off with some milk oil and a reusable cotton round from Florence by Mills because I don't think this product really is good about makeup removing. Don't mind this giant zit that's forming at the center of my forehead, um, but it says to use one to two pumps on wet skin. So I did just wet my skin and massage for 60 seconds. This allows ingredients to fully activate, to rinse with warm water and pat dry, don't rub. Okay, so I'll do two pumps of this. And then massage it in for 60 seconds. No real smell to it. Definitely smells a tiny bit grapey, but like not in a bad way. Nothing super off-putting about this. You can see it's starting to lather a bit. And I'm going to pat dry, not rub. And here we are in the natural light. I cannot believe this zit that I have. I have to do a zit stick after this, but just wanted to show you what my skin is looking like post cleanse. There's a little bit of redness on my cheek areas. I think that's where I was rubbing the hardest, but in my experience with exfoliation products, this will go away in a little bit. My face feels pretty, um, I guess squeaky queen is the best way to describe it. It really feels like I went in and was scrubbing, exfoliating as the product says it will. And it's looking pretty, pretty good. So I really did love the way that it left my skin feeling immediately after use. It definitely did feel squeaky clean. Um, considering again, the AHA acids comment from Glossier on their website, I definitely see myself using this at night and probably only twice a week. And obviously if you do use this in the mornings and the daytime, please remember to apply your SPF before you head out for the day, because as we mentioned, this product will increase your sensitivity to sun exposure and sun damage. And it's obviously important to wear SPF every day regardless. So I do definitely see myself using this product more in the evenings to avoid that immediate sensitivity. Of course, I'll still apply SPF every day. And I really only see myself using this about twice a week to exfoliate and exfoliation is still good for dry skin types. It's actually good for all skin types. It just depends on the frequency of what your skin can handle. I know for me, my skin overall needs a ton of nourishment. So I would definitely turn more to a cleanser like Milky Jelly for every day. I'm also loving the First Aid Beauty Cleanser lately, as well as the Fresh Soy Cleanser. That is another favorite of mine. Overall, like I said, I could see myself twice a week going in to exfoliate. I think the only thing I don't like about this product is knowing that it probably is not a good 
makeup remover. Whenever I hear a cleanser, I expect it to at least do some of the work in removing my makeup for me. And I will typically wash my face first to kind of get the bulk of makeup off. And then I will go in with a cotton round, as you saw, and use something like Milky Oil or maybe the Garnier Skin Micellar Water to um, take my makeup off but I definitely feel like this is most effective if you're able to use it on clean skin. I will definitely continue to use and test out this product. Since it is brand new, I can't give you a full conclusive review on this product. Glossier does have a clinical trial that they did linked on their website, so if you'd like to go check that out, I will leave it in the product link down below, but I will also keep you guys updated on this over on my Instagram and Instagram stories, so if you're not following me over there, you can come say hi and wait for an update on this after I've been using it for about three to four weeks is how long it really takes for me to notice if a skincare product is effective for me. But of course, I wanted to get my initial thoughts out to you guys as soon as possible. And if you have any questions about anything I mentioned in today's video, leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you again for watching and don't forget to subscribe for new videos from me every week here on my YouTube channel. We're approaching 5,000 subscribers, which is really exciting for me. I know I'm a small creator here on YouTube, but I seriously appreciate every single one of you, and I hope to see you again in next week's video. Bye, guys!